Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number four of Let's Play, the Conscientious Objection series, or Objector. We have a son. Our, our succession is here. Duke Hughes of Anjou has declared the West Francian civil war for elective monarchy on King Charles the Bald. So, just recently, some guy was like, you know what we really need around here is some, uh, some succession monarchy. Some succession law. And now some other dude's like, you know what we really need around here is elective monarchy. And it's just my cousin. Just the one guy. Against France. Granted, um, he only has 1,500 troops to his name. And the Duke of Anjou, my cousin, has 900. Not really sure what he's thinking exactly. So we're, we're hostile to him, but we are not really a primary participant in the war. Hmm. Since I am such a diligent person, I make sure that everything is as good as it can be. When it comes to my fighting men, I can focus on one of two things. More soldiers is the goal. Castle levy size plus 0.25, also known as 25%, for five years. Or the morale of my retinue is the most important. I think the castle levy size. Sounds great. Hmm. That, um, the fact that they rebelled down there is, is really frustrating. Count Eudes of Bourgogne, Bour Bourg whatever, is trying to usurp my title. Chancellor Bishop is supposedly traveling around Sundgau, trying to find both documents and supporters to help him legitimize a claim on the, the title. I need to do something about it. So Count Eudes. So that would be this guy's liege right here. So this fellow is trying to fabricate a claim on one of my lands here, right here. We can make him disappear, try to bribe him, or just let it be. Since he's a single county count, go right ahead. Spend money fabricating all the claims you want. It's never going to make a difference. You can't take my lands. Now is still not a good time to do the, fa the plot. Now we could start our own faction, in fact. Uh, we should have put a different king in charge. The king of East Francia, for instance. Which would actually put this guy in charge of West Francia. Combining the realm. Which is good for me, since I'm not going to be able to expand it on my own. Trying to make the realm bigger through factions would be a good way to improve my overall options. Looks like we've gotten in pretty well with the Pope. My courtier has died. I'm imagining, was this what, my lover? Yes. So the woman who made a baby for me is dead. I'm sure my wife is pleased. Well, she's not, technically, but... You should invest in new technology. Well, there's no way we're getting a retinue anytime soon. But if we don't start building toward it, it's never going to happen. So... I suppose we'll also just start working towards legalism. Embrace the love I feel for my wife. Alright, sure. Now my wife does have this claim on the Duchy of Verona. We're going to want to do something with that eventually. Unfortunately, my son was born by another woman, so he does not gain her claims. My daughter, on the other hand, does. We could consider maximum feudal levies. Although, again, we still have no direct barons, no no feudal liege, uh, feudal vassals, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not so sure that we're ever going to be able to really get good support for this faction. I'm sorry, this, this thing here. I'm seeing three positives, three and four negatives, so I don't think we can actually get him on our side. Maybe. Maybe if we hold a feast and then bribe him. Let's let's have the feast first and then see what it looks like. What I'd really like to do here is, uh, hey, get away from us. 
What I'd really like to do here is um, get rid of Arbitrary. And my liege is going to lose another low, another war. Looks like we're going for elective monarchy, which is actually good for me because then I can maybe elect myself and become the king of France. We're only going to hire one little bit of entertainment this year. We'll spend temperately. Hmm. Jizzlebert has declared the Peasant Revolt for Nodku. So, 1,500 troops have just risen up. Wow. That's a lot. So we're going to raise up the troops that we can. And unfortunately, we're going to need mercenaries to put this guy down. There's no one to plot against him with, and I, I certainly can't afford to assassinate him. Hiring mercenaries is just the best option. King Almos of Hungary actually holds the uh, this guy. Alright, so we're going to hire the ones that have the cheapest maintenance again. And actually just send them right down this way. Alright, never mind. We're going to stand those guys down. I don't want him to come in and snipe that army. Okay, we still managed to finish our feast. And of course the dragon bows are pretty likely... Uh, dragon bows, excuse me. No, it is bows. They're likely to, to come siege my land too, but unfortunately we just have to deal with this. That's our best commander. Wow. We're going to go to this county first. So that we can raise up the other troops. And then we're going to go to this county. I'm going to slow the game down a little bit here. Looks like he's actually managing to escape by one day. But I don't want him to escape, so I'm going to raise up my castle levy. Which will have full morale and just hold him for a couple days. I don't want to have to chase him over this river. I don't mind chasing him now, but... Even Bavaria is actually helping out accidentally. Do do do. Be nice if we could get our wife pregnant again. She seems to, to not like the uh, sexy fun times. Oh, he's actually war he's actually at war with the king, but it was over my land, so it's not even my war. But we'll put it down. We're, we're being a good vassal. Just spending my own money to protect myself. So that'll actually benefit the king. But that's what money's for. Alright, so we're doing okay now. Um, my liege is losing the war for elective monarchy still. Although he does have a good army there. In fact, it looks like he's actually starting to take the holdings back. So he might continue to to improve the situation. Right now they're on seniority, so seniority succession, which I really I don't mind either. You know, elective monarchy would allow me to become king. Seniority succession allows the Carlings to unite and become the Holy Roman Empire. So it makes no difference to me. We have lots of little counts who want this to happen. Hmm. King Ludwig for West Francia. We could try to make East Francia in charge. He has more men. That would actually be a very successful faction. Assuming we could call him to war. Although, unfortunately, he is German, and I just switched to Frankish. Hmm. Me doing this, of course, makes him not like me very much. 
his opinion of me is... Well, actually, no. His opinion of me is very, very high, even though I'm part of a faction. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't I don't think this is the time. Let's not do it. Yes, the king is weak. But uh no. We'll go in speed five, just bide our time. More feasts. And again, this there's no ticking war score on the Aquitanian Sunni revolt. So unfortunately we're never gonna get the support of the king. Alright, we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead first and seek the backing of the king, just to see. There's still a chance that he might join, I think. I will not see this realm torn asunder by intrigue and connivory. Abandon the scheme now, or on my oath you'll come to regret it. Plot is revealed. Um, well, we're going to do it anyway. I would no sooner surrender the Duchy of Aquitaine than I would my right arm. If you and your little friends can muster the courage to face me, I shall gladly see you cut down to the last man. Come, then. You will choke on, your, on those words, my duke. Or perhaps I should not risk war. Duke Hubbled of Alsace declares war. Well, this, is, this isn't offensive here. I didn't start it. I mean, I did, but I didn't, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, we're going to do it. Totally. Totally. You, sir. Duke Ramnanulf. Something. Duke Ramnanulf. Has 972 troops. We have that alone. We're going to hire mercenaries. It's just the safe thing to do. We're going to hire the cheap ones again. Probably should have fired that while we had them raised. That way we wouldn't have had to pay the hiring money. So the king's all, I will not see the realm torn asunder. And then he's just he's not involved. And of course, because we fired the faction with the support of our counts, his own vassals have risen up against him and actually makes him quite a bit weaker. Okay. Let's go make good on our war. The Pope has died and has been dis has been succeeded by a new Pope. Somehow we've put a lustful man in charge. I guess that's okay. Popes are allowed to be lustful, right? And we have a new Cardinal, of course. Alright, so 70% war score just from that one battle. There's 80%. And uh, from there, I think we just siege the castle that has the lowest garrison. 319, 260, 260. So we'll just stay here. One weak claim can be pressed. Duchess Elizabeth is currently revolting against her liege. We can claim Tours. Apparently I have a claim on Tours. Because she is revolting against the king, we can actually declare war on her over that county. We're not going to do that. That's that's far too offensive. See, to me, there's a difference between faction and plot instilled wars and then claim wars. I don't want to do claim wars. I'd rather inherit it. We can only support this war for a certain period of time here, so I think we will just assault. It's, it's a pretty acceptable ratio, and it's mostly mercenaries. Minimal city taxes. What are the current taxes? Uh, it's, it's, I don't care. It's fine. Whatever you want, my liege. Alright. Enforce demands. So... I have succeeded with the plot to see the Duchy of Aquitaine granted to a new ruler. So, we've just weakened him. The Duchy of Aquitaine is now ruled by this guy. 
Just some random guy. Doesn't really help us in any way, it just makes him weaker. Which is like, you know, something, something to do. Go on another hunt. Uh, we can fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Flanders. That seems pretty reasonable. Not a tremendous amount of support. There's one guy that can be bribed. Quite expensively. So... Who has the most plot power potential? The Spymaster of Flanders. Where do you live, sir? You're in there. Let's improve relations here and maybe we can target that guy. We'll get lucky. We've already made our liege love us. And the Pope loved us, but this is a new Pope, so... How about another feast? You can never have too many feasts. Alright, I think I'm going to take a break here. And in the next video, I, I'm hoping that we can gain a claim here. The problem is that I can't actually press the <laughs> press it at all. Like, um, gaining the claim would allow me to do certain faction type stuff, and I'm not going to declare war on him over the, the whole things. So, we shall see. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.